hello everyone in this video we are going to see a practical of finite element analysis based on computer program for stress analysis of 2d truss subjected to plane forces so in this video uh, we will try to solve one numerical on truss by conventional method then we will write a generalized program for 2d truss in MATLAB so uh, student you can uh, write generalized program by using MATLAB or C, C++ or those language you have no then particularly uh, in third step we will execute this generalized program in MATLAB by using online mode so you don't need to uh, install uh, license version of MATLAB you just run this your program uh, by using online mode so we will explain so first we take a numerical based on trust so according to problem statement for the trust structure shown in figure Describe the model and determine first we need to calculate displacement stresses and reaction at support so we have value of e that is Young's model of elasticity 200 into 10 raised to power 3 newton per mm square and area of element so according to given figure there are two elements element 1 element 2 so having node 1, node 2 and node 3 then respective distance of node 2 and node 3 with reference to node 1 so we will solve this problem by conventional method step by step then we write generalized program for any trust problem so first step that is discretization so from figure element 1 suppose we consider this is element 1 having node 1 and node 2 then element 2 so this is element 2 having node 2 and 3 so connectivity of their respective node that is for element 1 1 2 and for second element 2 3 so we can generalize right for first node that is i and for second node that is j then <coughs> degree of freedom or displacement of node 1 in x direction and y direction that is u1 and v1 similarly for 2 u2 v2 and for node 3 displacement in x direction u3 and v3 then reaction because node 1 and node 3 are fixed so they have reactions so reaction 1 x direction reaction 1 y direction then 3x and 3y respective reaction in x direction and y direction at node 3 and then there is application of external force on node 3 that is 50 kN in y direction so P to Y is equal to 50 kN and reaction P to X in X direction so there is a no load in X direction so our basic question to determine displacement and traces so node 1 and 3 are fixed so they have not any displacement means displacement equal to 0 so we need to calculate only displacement at node 2 in x and y direction so our main objective to find out u2 and v2 then stresses in element 1 and element 2 that is sigma 1 and sigma 2 in element 1 and 2 respectively so <coughs> we need certain basic 
parameters that is length of element 1 and length of element 2 we have length of element 2 that is 750 how to calculate length l1 that is from length node 1 to 2 just by using this formula y2 minus y1 that is 500 minus 0 square plus x2 minus x1 that is 750 minus 0 for element 1 so by using this formula we can calculate length of element 1 that is 901.39 then for element 1 node 1 having x coordinate and y coordinate node 2 x and y similarly for element 2 also node 1 and node 3 so we required cx and cy that is <coughs> cos cos theta and sin theta value so how to calculate cos theta and sin theta value cos is the thing but adjacent side upon hypotenuse and sin or cy that is opposite side upon hypotenuse so by using coordinate we can calculate cx value and cy value for respective elements so suppose i want to calculate this value so cx is equal to x2 minus x1 so this is x2 and this is x1 750 minus 0 divided by respective length that is 901.3 similarly we can calculate this value also and for element 2 that is cx and cy then next we need to calculate element stiffness matrix for test so this is generalized form for element stiffness matrix so we need area of suppose uh, we want to calculate uh, element stiffness matrix for element 1 and element 2 so first we apply uh, we use this formula or generalized form we required area angst model of velocity then respective length cx value so we already previously calculated cx and cy so in this matrix we required cx and cy value only so <coughs> this is generalized form for node 1 having a uh, degree of freedom in x direction and y direction so we general we write in generalized form 2i minus 1 2i this is for node 1 and for second node 2j minus 1 and 2j so this is for second node so for element 1 we write i is equal to 1 j is equal to 2 that is node 1 and 2 cx 0 0.832 from this given table and cy 0 0.55 so just by putting respective value that is area of element 1 then e respective e and length so this is final matrix after putting respective values similarly we can calculate element stiffness matrix for element 2 that is i equal to 2 j equal to 2 that is node 2 3 cx minus 1 and cy 0 so put all values and we will get matrix A2 then next step that is global stiffness matrix so summation of stiffness matrix element 1 and element 2 so size of element global element stiff, uh, sorry global stiffness matrix is equal to number of degree of freedom by number of degree of freedom so there are three nodes each node having two degree of freedom that is there are total six degree of freedom so global stiffness matrix also size is equal to six by six matrix then global load vector so there are six degree of freedom so size also six by one one rx one ry that is reaction at node 1 in x and y similarly 
in second node and third node so there are a reaction at node 1 and node 3 and minus 50 into 10 to power 3 that is minus 50 kilo Newton apply in vertical downward direction so this is r2 y value and or we consider p2y and p2x is equal to 0 so this is our load vector similarly we write global nodal displacement vector so each node having two displacement that is u and v so for one node this is for second node and this is for third node so our main objective to calculate displacement u2 and v2 then next step by putting all value in governing equation so our governing equation is equal to k u n is equal to f k is nothing but global stiffness matrix u global displacement matrix and f that is global load vector so this is our global stiffness matrix 6 by 6 this is displacement matrix 6 by 1 is equal to this is load matrix 6 by 1 so by applying boundary conditions so how to apply you know displacement at node 1 is equal to 0 because the node 1 and 2 these two nodes are fixed so displacement in x and y direction is equal to 0 so no displacement at node 1 u1 0 v1 0 u3 and v3 is equal to 0 so by elimination approach we can deduct respective row and respective column from global stiffness matrix suppose we know value of u1 is equal to 0 so this is position 1 so deduct respective row 1 and respective row oh sorry column 1 from global stiffness matrix similarly same elimination approach apply for row 2 then row 5 and row 6 because displacement is equal to 0 now this 6 by 6 matrix converted into 2 by 2 matrix so k 2 by 2 that is 6.3 1.53 1.53 1.02 1 1 then u2 are unknown u2 and v2 are unknown then load 0 minus 50 into 10 raised to power 3 so now this is 2 by 2 matrix means we can convert this 2 by 2 matrix into simultaneous equation means we have now two simultaneous equation now we can easily calculate value of u2 and v2 so respective displacement at node 2 in x direction that is u2 0 0.1857 and v2 minus 0 0.765 after determining u2 and v2 suppose i want to calculate reaction at node 1 in x direction that is r1 x so simply take global stiffness matrix row 1 this is row 1 multiplied by the column of displacement vector is equal to r1 so that is 2.3 u1 plus 1.53 v1 minus 2.3 u2 minus 1.53 v2 this is 0 this is 0 is equal to r1 so in this way you can calculate r1x r1y r3x r3y so the respective values are 74 50 74 and 0 respectively then last term that is how to calculate stresses so this is generalized form for calculating stresses so stress for uh, is equal to e l minus cx minus cy cx cy 
into displacement vector so for element 1 just put displacement vector that is node 1 2 so u1 v1 u2 v2 put all values and calculate stress similarly just you need to change nodes position that is u2 v2 and u3 v3 put all respective value and you will get stress in element 1 that is minus 59.93 approximate equal to minus 60 newton per mm square and stress in element 2 that is 59.5 that is approximate equal to 50 so now this problem we solve by using conventional method now we will write generalized program for trust so by using this generalized form we can determine or we can calculate any displacement any stresses by using considering any problem of trust so this is our generalized form I am already right just I am explaining here so first this is a basic step to clear and close all types and all from work environment of MATLAB that is CLC clear all and close all this step for enter number of elements so by comparing our previous example number of element equal to 2 then here mention num element second num node that is enter number of node so there are three nodes then element node connectivity so I am right here element or EL node that is enter elemental node connectivity in the matrix form so our previous problem element node connectivity that is 1 2 2 3 ok means node 1 2 2 2 2 3 this is our node connectivity then in next step enter node connectivity in uh, sorry node coordinates x y in matrix form so this is node 1 so we take this is a reference node so x y is equal to 0 0 second node coordinate that is 7 5 0 comma 50 that is x y and for third node x coordinate x equal to 0 and y is equal to 500 next step that is mention element degree of freedom so here I am right ELE degree of freedom enter element degree of freedom in matrix form so if I consider first that is element 1 having node 1 and 2 but here we want to write degree of freedom so if I consider node 1 so degree of freedom in x direction and y direction so this is 1 and this is 2 similarly 3 4 so node connectivity degree of freedom connectivity that is 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 6 so this is our degree of freedom connectivity previously we connect node that is 1 2 2 3 now we connect degree of freedom of respective elements that is 1 2 3 4 and 3 4 5 6 so this is our degree of freedom connectivity so these basic terms required for execute the program then initialize zero matrix for all matrices so first we define displacement matrix that is initialize zero two into num node num node means number of node that is three two into three that is six so our displacement matrix six by one so
such as previously we saw six by one matrix so by using this program we can solve uh, n type of elements n type of nodes or we can solve any generalized uh, trust problem by using this program then we need to define force that is 2 into number of nodes that is node 3 2 into 3 6 by 1 similarly we initialize stiffness matrix node 2 node that is node 3 2 into node 3 6 by 6 so according to our previous problem uh, our global stiffness matrix size is equal to 6 by 6 then we define area of respect to elements then Hence modulus of elasticity in matrix form then force that is input enter the value of force in x and y direction respectively on each node in matrix form in next step we perform or we create generalized stiffness matrix so In that step we write this whole term in our code so we required cx value cy value a value e value e value so k is nothing but element stiffness matrix so this all uh, parameters write in our programming language so e is equal to e num element so we have two elements so we required two element stiffness matrix so L so this is right in the form of that is L is equal to under root y2 minus y1 square plus x2 minus x1 square in same way we write here node coordinates that is second minus one okay so likewise we write how to calculate length then c value that is cx s value nothing but cy value that is opposite side upon hypotenuse and c that is uh, oh sorry adjacent side upon hypotenuse and c that is sine opposite side upon hypotenuse lastly we write k that is a e upon l a e upon l and cx square cx cy minus cx square minus cx cy so same way we write here also so c into c that is cx square c into s that is cx into cy so likewise we write here element stiffness matrix then next step that is extract the row of element degree of freedom for each element means we put the respective values here so we prepare uh, element stiffness matrix by putting all values so initially we prepare initially we prepare a stiffness matrix by uh, having value 0 then next in this case we just add value of uh, respect to element or uh, el uh, element stiffness matrix that is k so this is our new element of stiffness matrix next write to no force array so here we write enter or write no value known value of the force array in matrix form so here we not write a value of force here we write a array in matrix form so the position of force so the here we write known displacement so we know that uh, according to our previous value the displacement of known node that is 1 and 3 then known force that is 3 and 4 that is node 2 then next 
here in this step we prepare a global stiffness matrix sorry um, in this actually in this step we prepare a known uh, known force size that is just like in this problem we have know the uh, array that is 3 and 4 know the displacement uh, unknown displacement u2 and v2 so this step that is known force array means we create that global stiffness matrix into known uh, matrix known stiffness matrix that is 2 by 2 after that next step that is solve the matrix so how to calculate that matrix so simply displacement is equal to force upon stiffness matrix sorry uh, displacement is equal to stiffness upon force matrix so we will get displacement therefore <coughs> now lastly we calculate known force uh, displacement of known force value that is this is 2 by 2 matrix here we calculate that displacement then next step known displacement array here we enter the known value of displacement array in matrix form so we know the value uh, sorry uh, uh, position of known displacement that is node 1 and node 3 lastly calculate stresses in element just like here we calculate stresses in element 1 by using e upon l cx cy cx cy and displacement matrix so we required length c cf and then write that stress formula in this fashion and we can call this new displacement known displacement that is u2 and v2 from here so actually this is generalized form we can we can't say uh, u2 or v2 uh, v2 so if there is an unknown the program will automatically gain that value and calculate respect to displacement and stresses after that we will display that stiffness displacement uh, reactions and stresses So, move towards our third step. So, we write that generalized program in MATLAB form. We will put that, we will put that program in MATLAB dot MATLAB work. Uh, no need to uh, install software in your uh, laptop or desktop uh, you can run this program by using uh, matlab.matwork.com this is online facility available uh, you can install uh, this app in your android phone also and next step that is uh, i'm just copy paste here our given program and now run this program so for run here edit and press run command now you need to enter number of element so according to our previous problem our element number is equal to 2 enter number of nodes equal to 3 then enter element node connectivity matrix so 
नोट कनेक्टिविटी वन टू 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 थ्री मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म पेस्ट एंटर नेक्स्ट एंटर नोडल कॉर्डिनेट्स एक्स वाई इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म सो अवर रिस्पेक्टिव कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ नोड वन टू थ्री जीरो जीरो सेवन फाइव जीरो फाइव जीरो जीरो एंड जीरो फाइव हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट एंटर एलिमेंट डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म सो दिस इज अवर मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म वन टू थ्री फोर एंड थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स आई एम ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन अवर कन्वेंशनल मेथड सो जस्ट पुट हियर एंटर नेक्स्ट आस एंटर एरिया ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म सो गिवन एरिया ऑफ टू एलिमेंट्स इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फॉर बोथ दी एलिमेंट्स एंक्स मॉडुलस राइट एंक्स मॉडुलस वैल्यू ऑफ एंक्स मॉडुलस ऑफ बोथ दी एलिमेंट्स एंटर वैल्यू ऑफ फोर्सेस इन एक्स वाई डायरेक्शन रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑन ईच नोड इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म सो देर आर थ्री नोड्स थ्री पोजिशंस सो वी नो दैट आर आर टू वाई इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सो सॉरी दिस इज नोट एक्स वाय नोट टू एक्स वाय सो निगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट वर्टिकली डाउन नोट डायरेक्शन इन वाय एंड नोट थ्री हैविंग जीरो जीरो फोर्सेस so enter next enter the value of force in matrix form that is known value so that is position 3 and 4 we have no let's asking uh, enter known value of displacement array in matrix form so we know the displacement at node 1 and 2 that is degree of freedom 1 2 and 5 and So this is our last entry, and press enter. In this way, we'll get respective values of global thickness matrix. We can just we can check. So this is the global thickness matrix. We can compare with our conventional answers. So two point three zero, randomly you can check two point three, then displacement zero point one eight zero point seven six zero point one eight zero point seven six, then forces that is reactions and stresses in element one and element two minus sixty and fifty. So minus sixty and minus fifty. So quite similar with our conventional method. So in this way, we can solve truss numerical by using conventional method. Then we can write generalized program for solving any truss numerical to calculate. displacement and stresses reactions and we can execute this program by using matlab work so hope so you understand if you have any difficulty please contact me